So often, every day of our Christian walk, of our faith in God, of our faith life is kind of pushed off into the next phase. If you think about your childhood or you think about growing up, you think about the the time when you were introduced to Jesus, that attitude probably happened at some point soon after. And I I think it's probably because for a lot of us, we were introduced to Jesus by people that were older than us. Maybe you grew up in a Christian home with parents that were following God and they were introducing you to Jesus. And man, when you looked at your parents, you thought, what amazing people they are. You know, like these are people who are really following Jesus. And when I get to be their age, I'm going to be like that too. Maybe you were a little kid and you had Sunday school teachers or teachers in your life that were introducing you to God. Maybe you didn't really meet Jesus until you were a high schooler, but it was college students that were pouring into your life. And when you looked at them, you thought, man, when I get to be their age, like that's who I want to be like. I think because we're so often looking in that direction, we tend to kind of push off getting serious and getting real about our faith until the next phase in life. That's what kind of happens to us over and over and over again. When we're children, I mean, we look up maybe in the church or in people we know and we see middle schoolers and high schoolers that are following God and we think, I can't wait to get there, right? At that stage of my life, I'm gonna be able to read God's word. I'm gonna be able to pray. I'm gonna have this real relationship with him. And then what happens? You get to middle school. When you get to middle school, your entire life is about looking to high school, right? And that's where you see kind of the real people are, the real life is starting and maybe even the real believers. Like those are the people that are really doing things with their faith. And you think, man, when I get to high school, like I'm really gonna take my faith seriously. And then you step into high school and your entire life is about getting ready for college. And you see real life not really starting until you get to college and you think, well, I'll get serious about all this stuff then. And you may have experienced this or it may have come later or earlier for you. And then you, you, you spend all of high school thinking, man, I'll get serious about my faith when I get into college. And you step into college and you are handed more free time than you've ever had in your entire life. And what an opportunity to invest in your relationship with God. But so often what we end up thinking is, man, I'll get to that later. I've got time for that later. When I graduate, I get my first job, I'm gonna settle down. It'll be time for me to really re-engage with my faith, really invest in my relationship with God. And then all those things happen. We graduate, maybe we get a first job, we settle down and we start to think, hey, maybe this is the time for me to invest in my relationship with God. But we think, well, I really haven't met that person yet. You know, and if you're a guy, you're looking for that girl, and if you're a girl, you're looking for that guy, and maybe you find them, you fall in love, you get engaged, you're about to be married, and you think, this is it, right? We're gonna get married, we're gonna start our family on the bedrock of faith, and we are going to go to church together, we're gonna follow God together, we're gonna read the Bible together, all these things are gonna happen when we get married. And you get married, maybe you visit a few churches, but you can't quite find the one you're looking for, and you just think, well, we'll have time for that later. And it keeps getting pushed off and pushed off, and usually, there's one catalyst that changes things. What is it? You have kids, right? You have children. And as soon as you have children, you think, I want my kids to know God. You think, I want my kids, I want my children to know who Jesus is. And that usually is the catalyst where we get the family together and we go to church. I mean, I'm so happy that people re-engage with their faith at that point in their life. But I want you to think about this. How many years have we given away? How many opportunities for growth and faith and investment in our relationship with God have we given away at that point? Just continually, perpetually saying, well, I'll get to it in the next phase. And that happens over and over and over again until we find ourselves advanced in life before we're re-engaging with our faith. 